Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, what you're looking at here is a uh, another Genesis 2 that I uh, picked up uh, about a month ago, actually. Um, and uh, I'm going to make this a, another Jammer Genesis, but um, I thought this time around I'll actually step through the whole process. Um, and this is kind of part one of, you know, maybe four or five parts to all this, but um, basically what I've done is I've taken the case off the, uh, the Genesis and... Um, I've cleaned uh, the motherboard, and uh, when I say cleaned, what I've done is I've just thrown it in the dishwasher, um, and that's uh, given it a nice clean. And uh, I've glued down a jammer fingerboard on the uh, left-hand side here, um, and these uh, clips here are just kind of holding it in place. The glue needs to set; it's still quite sticky, and probably take you know overnight or something like that for it for it to uh, dry properly or bond properly, I guess. Um, and uh, I've got the power supply here, just regular one, and just the RF. This is just an RF cable. Um, and what I wanted to show you was before we try to hack this, um, just make sure that this all works. So we'll just hit the power on here. The light comes on, and on our TV, the uh, game should work fine, which it does. This is our Strider. It's my test cart for all this stuff. I'm not sure why, but uh, one of my favourite games on the uh, Sega Genesis. So there's the game. So the next step here now guys is to basically um, take the uh, red, green, blue sync and ground from the uh, video decoder chip here and wire it up to the uh, red, green, blue pins and the sync. Um, and then uh, what we'll do is um, we'll do another update and show you how that looks. Now, what I will say, guys, is um, I kind of uh, got uh, the short end of the stick here because this decoder chip is the KA2195, which is probably the worst one you could have for a Genesis. Um, it probably provides the worst picture quality, so it'll be actually interesting to see if we can actually sync it. Um, but I'm kind of uh, looking forward to it and seeing uh, how, what it looks like, especially compared to my other Jammer Genesis. So, um, yeah, so uh, I'll be back uh, in a little while and um, we will have the uh, video pins connected up to the Jammer uh, fingerboard here and uh, hopefully we can uh, take the next step. See you shortly. Alright, guys, back again and um, as mentioned, uh, we're going to test this out on the uh, on the uh, Blast City now. Um, what we've got, as mentioned before, uh, you can see that all the wiring uh, for the uh, video uh, encoder or decoder chip, whatever it is, um, is uh, wired up to the Jammer fingerboard. And uh, I won't go through these in too much detail, but basically the top three wires here, the first one is red. The second one is blue, and the third one is green, uh, and they go to the uh, red, green, blue pins uh, labeled on the uh, Jammer fingerboard here. And uh, this pin down here is a ground, so that goes to your ground pin, which I believe is 14. And uh, the last one here is your sink, and that's probably the most important one actually. Um, and that goes to the sink pin as well. So. With those five wires, um, we can actually get video out of the uh, Genesis into the Jammer harness and uh, ultimately into the cab. Now, um, what we're going to have to do to test this is um, we still have to use our external power because we don't have um, plus five volts um, coming out from the Genesis into the uh, harness at the moment. So what we're going to have to do to test this out is um, plug it in, which we've done, uh, power it on with the switch, light should turn red, hopefully it will, um, and then what we do is turn on the, uh, the cab or the monitor and see what the result is. We won't have any sound yet because the sound isn't hooked up and obviously um, controller or the joysticks obviously still have to be done. So anyway, let's give it a test. So we've got the cartridge in and um, let's press the power. The uh, lights come up, so that's always a good sign. And uh, let's turn this baby on, see what happens. Hopefully we get some video. And there you go, we've got uh, RGB video coming out. 
And uh, let me just kill the lots here a little bit. Uh, I gotta say that uh, picture quality looks really nice. Uh, had some concerns about uh, the decoder chip or the encoder chip, the video encoder chip, but um, yeah, it looks as good as uh, the previous uh, Jammer Genesis that I uh, did, which is over here, um, which is in its case, as you can see. This is uh, the first one that I did uh, about a month or so ago. It's kind of a mess of wires in there. But going back to this, yeah, it, uh, yeah, it just looks uh, looks really nice. It looks as good and I'm not sure, maybe even better than the uh, the other one I have. Um, the uh, brightness on this one seems a lot a lot better. But maybe it's just my eyes. I may have to go back and just check. But um, in any case, that is a very nice picture quality. So I'm very pleased that that's actually doing what it's supposed to. I've got the, the flash on the camera here, so it may look a little bit funny. But uh, you can see that there. That's just uh, that's just great. All right. Uh, I'll stop getting ex too excited. All right, so back to here. So what, what the next thing we need to do, guys, is um, we're going to take... Um, this is the voltage regulator so this takes uh, I think it's 12 volts coming in and it gets fed through the regulator and it gets regulated as plus 5 volts we're going to take the plus 5 volts from this baby here and the ground and hook it up to the uh, jammer harness so what that is going to allow us to do is basically turn on once we turn on the power from the, uh, the jammer um, we won't need this anymore so that's going to eliminate that we'll do that next um, and once that's done then um, we'll talk about uh, uh, wiring up a uh, controller or a control pad uh, which is you know the, the trickiest part it's just uh, kind of a pain in the ass quite honestly and let's not forget uh, sound as well we, we want to pull sound um, and get that onto the uh, jammer harness as well but um, yeah it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a good start and uh, we've got we've got some video which is the most important thing so um, we will push on